This growing season, farmers in Burkina Faso won't be harvesting any genetically modified cotton. The government here has suspended planting of a variety sold by U.S. agrochemicals giant Monsanto, at least for now. It's a victory for environmental activist Ali Tapsaba. He's worked for years to get a GM crop called BT cotton banned. He says that for farmers, the disadvantages of planting it are simply too great. We've triumphed in the fight against GM cotton. Genetic engineering creates a dangerous dependency on the part of the farmer. And that's not even taking into account the damage done by BT, an environmental poison. We're very happy that conventional cotton is going to be planted again this season. Michel Tamou is now busy with the harvest. It's hard work because the crop has to be picked by hand. One drawback of conventional cotton is that the farmer now has to spray pesticides on a regular basis. It's strenuous work, and yet you don't earn a lot. But what else can I do? There isn't any other work in Burkina Faso. We're forced to farm cotton, whether we want to or not. Conventional cotton from Burkina Faso is in high demand on the world markets. Its fibers are particularly long and dense, a quality the country's farmers are proud of. But Monsanto's seeds produce cotton with shorter fibers, according to the head of the National Cotton Producers Association, Karim Traore. Since we adopted GM technology, we've lost our good reputation on the world markets. We've lost the advantage that we had as a result of the high quality of our products. In Burkina Faso, 12% of the population are directly dependent on the cotton sector. In 2015, there was a record harvest, but buyers stayed away. GM technology has solved the problems caused by pests and the need to use pesticide, but now we have the problem with fiber length. We opted out because we produced a lot, but sold little. The farmers of Unde know they need to use less pesticide when they plant GM cotton, and the yields are higher. But many still prefer the natural crop. You only have to spray once, but the seed is poisoned. The entire plant is poisonous, and that's bad for your health. But the farmers aren't just concerned about their own health. They say GM cotton has far more disadvantages. When our animals eat the leaves, they get diarrhea. Some have even died. And the seeds are very expensive. We have to take out loans to be able to afford it. And if the yield isn't satisfactory, we're saddled with this debt forever. The Monsanto seeds cost up to 30 times more. Critics accuse authorities of selling farmers down the river. They force the BT cotton on them. When you look at how GM technology came to our country, it's clear that a political deal was involved. The system doesn't give farmers any other choice. Burkino Faso's future seems to be heavily tied up with international business interests. Cotton is the country's most important export. We haven't abandoned genetically modified crops entirely, but we have to find a good solution before we go back to planting them again. Authorities in Kenya, Ghana and Uganda are soon set to decide on whether they should also ban genetically modified crops. The reaction of farmers in Burkina Faso could play a role in what they decide. <laughs>